Hello everybody, I'm doing something new today again. I'm uh, outside for the first time for my recordings. I'm in my mother's garden because she's the one who inspired me with the book that she bought um, that I found in her house. It's a book on abundance and prosperity by Özlem Denizman. When I researched who she was, she was an internationally well-known um, financial literacy person, uh, expert, and um, so I'm inspired by her book, but there will be lots of things that aren't in the book and um, there will be spiritual, practical and Feng Shui tips that I'm going to share with you in this video. First of all, I advise you to keep a notebook that in which you take uh, you write jot down all the expenses, and then you look back and you categorize them, um, so you know exactly how much you spend every month for each category. So you che you check your expenses under control in this way, and your net income needs to be there as well in front of you so that you can compare. According to Elizabeth Warren, who is a Harvard professor on law, and her daughter, um, the best way to keep your economy flowing in abundance is to follow a rule. According to this rule, you need to spend at most 50% of your income on your necessities, which are like rent, health insurance, um, uh, your utility bills, etc. Um, 30% of your income, more or less, should be spent for your wants, which are hobbies, um, the clothing that you choose to wear. Uh, and 20% of your income should be going uh, for your investments, for future. This can be uh, covering up your debts that you have accrued in the past. Uh, the best way to approach your income, when you have it, you put aside your 20% straight away and then you adjust your, uh, and 50% is going anyway, and you adjust your 30% according to what you earn. And if you, there is a gap in a negative way, then you have to increase either your income or decrease your outgoings. It's as simple as that, but in reality, m most of us don't know how much we spend, how much we earn sometimes. And we, we, we have no clue, and then the debt is that is easy to build up because we are conditioned to spend. If we follow our values, if we know who we are, what matters to us, then we are not spending our money according to our social conditionings, but according to our values. So therefore, I advise you to find out what your values are. If you go to my website, I gave you a link to a list of values so that you can go through and say, see which ones resonate with you. Then you look whether you live your life according to your values. If you don't, that's the time to adjust. You know, how can I change my life seriously and be more in tune with my values? When you do that, uh, the prosperity and abundance come your, come your way very easily because you have a life of passion. Um, lastly, I would like to share with you some Feng Shui tips before leaving you, and these are um, closing your toilet door, closing your closet, toilet closet, and not having any dripping water in your taps. These are three Feng Shui tips that I would like to share with you so that the abundance and prosperity are with you in your life. If you liked it, please drop down a message, a, a comment down, and um, uh, if you want to receive more of these videos, please sus subscribe to my channel on top. Thank you. See you later. You and your loved ones are significant. To receive regular tips to help you achieve more autonomy, visit my page.